Hello. I wrote a book. I also sent my first query letter in the last couple of days. So that's pretty exciting. Um, one of the tools I used to write my book was LaTeX. Now, most people write documents with programs like uh, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, that sort of thing. And those are word processors as opposed to a document preparation system like LaTeX. Uh, in other words, uh, what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG versus code. And as a programmer, I prefer working in code. Now, I'm not really going to teach you how to write LaTeX. It's a markup language, so it's fairly easy to pick up. But I do think it might be interesting to go into the systems I have in place with LaTeX to help me write my documents. So let's start by installing a couple of packages. Package add. Uh, let's see, PDF. And Poplar utils. We need Zathura to view PDF files. And then we need to install the uh, LaTeX libraries. And then we need LaTeX make to generate output from tech files. And the last one's optional. Uh, Poplar utils, I use that for PDF to text a utility so I can preview PDFs in LF, my terminal file manager. So let's go ahead and install these. Okay, that took a while. So each document I have is its own directory. And the documents I write follow a very similar and specific template. So if we go to my file manager, this book-01.tech is the uh, main document. It's the root from which everything else springs. As you can see, it's uh, Pretty bare bones, not a lot here, except different files that I'm uh, including. And then if we go here to the preamble, this includes all the uh, libraries that I want. It's got the function definitions for like things like uh, a scene separator. So it's a, it's a hashtag uh, centered. Or um, at the beginning of every page, you need to have uh, the surname, the title, and then the page number. It's also got things like uh, geometry, like the margins and what kind of paper I want, the fonts, the page style, the line spacing, uh, those kinds of things. And then front matter is basically, when I'm writing a manuscript, I need to follow a specific format. And that is uh, the Shun manuscript format. Um, and as you can see, there's things like uh, you have your name, your address, uh, your membership stuff. Uh, I don't have that. <laughs> your title, who is it by, which is me, and how many words it has. That's your cover page. And then you start off with your, your novel. Um, and so the front matter is basically the cover page. So any, any of the content that comes before your, your main content basically, if you want to think about it that way. So it's got, you know, I've got my address, phone number, email address, title, by me, and then about how many words it is. And then you have your content. This uh, tech file basically includes all the content that's in this directory. Uh, that's basically what it does. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then let's look at the, my make file. So LaTeX requires you to compile your tech files into other formats. Uh, this could be PostScript, PDF, HTML, and I think even Microsoft Word or LibreOffice formats are supported. I'm not sure about that, though. I usually just compile into PDF, and I use my own build system uh, when doing that. So Make will check the timestamps of your files. Um, here, they're called targets. So doc is basically uh, like saying uh, book01.pdf. And source is book01.tech. And then 
So remember, this is my uh, root file, and this is the file that I want to generate, the PDF file. And then let's go ahead and do that. And then here we have this target. So dot, this is basically like saying book01.pdf. And then these are the dependencies. So if any of these dependencies, so the source um, and all the other .tech files that is in this project or a document, um, if any of these have timestamps that are uh, newer than the the target that I'm trying to generate, then you run this command, which is basically just LaTeX make with a couple of flags, and then I have a different target clean, which is basically just removes all the cruft and artifacts that I've generated with this command, and then I have a config dot make, which is another make file, and this is where I define all that stuff you saw before. So like the source is book dash or one zero one dot tech and then dependencies are this other stuff and uh content is basically just all the tech files inside the content directory and i guess uh yeah grab variables which is stuff i define that i don't want to i don't want to litter throughout all these other documents i just keep it here in one place all right so uh let's make the document so you just need to type make and then it generates it Cool. And then we can use Zathura to look at the uh, document. So here's my title page. Here's my first page. Yeah, you can just, if you want to uh, make another, do it again. Like say I want to do a change. Let's go to uh, the first chapter and say, uh, hello world. <laughs> And then we make that again. And then we uh, let's close this out. OK, that was made and generated. Anyway, let's quit out of this. And to show off the uh, PDF preview in my file manager, if we go to this PDF, you can see that I'm now getting generated previews. And then I can uh, just do make clean to remove all the artifacts that I just generated. And you can see I've got a nice clean uh, directory. And I use uh, LaTeX to generate things like invoices, contracts, other kinds of documents. You know, even my resume is written in LaTeX. So if you have any questions for me, be sure to check out my website, josephcho.com. Check me out on Twitter, GitHub, Reddit, if that's what you're into. Goodbye.